Okay, so I think everyone knows how a tier list works. We're going to talk Dwarven Metals and what, in my opinion, the tiers of all these metals are. We're going to talk about every metal in Dwarf Fortress, as well as all of the alloys. So let's just jump right in. So aluminum, pretty rare, not really good for weapons, not terribly good for armor, or anything like that. Uh, so it's not roundly useful, but it is really useful if you want to make barrels, or something that would be benefited by how light it is. Uh, something that gets moved all around the fortress all the time, you want that to be made out of something light so that the dwarves can carry it more easily. So, you know, like a wheelbarrow or a barrel, these are the main examples that are coming to mind. So aluminum has its uses, not really good for everything though. And so I'm going to put aluminum in the... Honestly, with the rarity, the fact that you so rarely even see it, I'm going to put C tier. We're just going to start off... Sorry, if I'm already offending people. Leave it in the comments if you disagree with any of these rankings, by the way. Definitely, absolutely. Uh, so the next one in our list, alphabetical, is uh, bismuth. So, very charming color. That's the main thing about it. I'm not sure... I'm actually going to pull this up right now. I'm not sure that it's actually good for weapons or anything. It is only used, I'm confirming, it is only used to create bismuth bronze. So it's only used to create an alloy that we're going to talk about later that has some, some value, has some reasons why you would make it. So very rare, not very useful. It's good for, you know, Pepto-Bismol. And in fact, the Wikia makes a joke about that too. Because uh, that bismuth is actually the main ingredient in a lot of uh, stomach relief drugs. Uh, or at least, at least the one I'm thinking of. But... Uh, so very rare, not terribly useful, only kind of comes into play with, like, complicated ores later. I'm gonna... well... But it does have a pretty color, so I'm gonna put this in... I'm gonna put this in E tier. Not completely useless, but... Nothing to write home about either. And, you know, it's a shame, because it is actually a really interesting element in real life. But moving right along. Alright, copper. Copper is a big player. If any metal is gonna get S tier, it might be copper. So, like, I, I might just have to put it on there, but, like, let me, let me explain my reasoning. So, copper is relatively lightweight. It's not the lightest, but it's pretty light, so you can do the barrel and uh, the stuff I talked about with aluminum. It is also good for weapons. It's also good for tools. It's hard enough. So, but copper is really, really important. You can use it for military stuff. You can use it for furniture. It's valuable. You can make coins out of it. Basically, anything that you would want to do with a metal, you can do with copper. I... The more I talk about it, the more I convince myself. Uh, copper's absolutely S tier. All right, let me just keep move it, move right along. So uh, gold next alphabetically. We all know gold. Valuable, good for coins. Soft, not really good for armor, weapons, tools. Uh, kind of a lazy metal. It's also relatively heavy, so you don't really want to do barrels and stuff with it. But it does make things very valuable. Makes uh, nobles happy. Makes royalty happy. Uh, shows your wealth, which is how you grow a fortress in the first place. You know, migrants only come when there is wealth. So, uh, useful for trading. I'm going to put this in... Let me see. For all the metals that exist in Dwarf Fortress, I'm going to put this in... B tier. Because of its, of its limitations uh, for weapons and things like that, which something that's like silver, which is less valuable, or think something like um, platinum... It would blow it out of the water in terms of usefulness. So, anyway, moving right along on that. Uh, next one is iron. That's another common one. That's one we all know. Very useful for tools. This is the, um, it's the main... Oh, I know what I was thinking of. I'm actually going to circle back and correct myself. So I believe you can build copper picks, but what I was thinking of that is exclusive to iron is uh, anvils. Anvils can only be made out of iron and steel. So... Really critical, if you don't bring iron, or you don't have a source of iron, you'll regret it pretty quickly. It's also the pathway, uh, iron itself, is the pathway to pig iron and to steel, which is the strongest material in the game, besides uh, a mythical element that is a late-game spoiler. So I'm not going to talk about that. Actually, I should have clarified that. So I'm not going to talk about any of the, the magic metals. We're talking about the normal metals, the worldly metals of the game. So just having cleared that up, iron is the only... Uh, what was I saying, is the only thing to make anvils, and steel is uh, the only metal that's hard enough to penetrate clowns usefully in combat. You can use, like, copper bolts and things, but like a steel spike, we learned in my video earlier, uh, Clowning the Clowns, uh, that it has to be a steel spike 
in a trap for clowns or else it'll break because they're so massive. So iron is really, really critical. Uh, it is a little heavy. It's a little not super valuable, but it's the mother of so many things that I have to... Well, should I put it in S tier or A tier? I'm really debating. It's like right here. Because copper is truly does everything. What was I thinking of? But st by that merit, iron also has so many special things. So yeah, it gets S tier as well. Copper and iron, so critical. Oh, they're also both so common. Like every fortress is built on copper and iron. It just is. So like, it's as simple as that. It has to be S tier as well. All right, moving right along. Lead, we know lead. Now in Dwarf Fortress, it doesn't actually have the health um, complications uh, programmed in yet. So it's not to be avoided for that reason, but it is extremely heavy, which makes it useful for if you're building a pit trap uh, because fall damage is calculated based on the hardness of the floor uh, and the heaviness, or really the density of the floor. Uh, lead will make things flat in a uh, pitfall better. It's also good for, it's very heavy, so you don't want to make barrels or really anything that has to be moved out of it. But you could conceivably, I'm actually going to look into this now because I'm not sure, can you even make you can certainly make furniture, but I'm wondering if you can even make armor out of it, or if it's probably too soft, right? Here, I'm going to pull this up really quick. It's, this is mentioning, uh, I'm reading from the wiki, and now it says, like most metals, but it's low value and high weight make it a poor choice for personal objects or anything portable, respectively. However, lead items that are not weapons or armor are just as strong as any other metal. So yeah, specifically they make that, so it's not as good for weapons and armor because it's soft, but you can make mechanisms out of it. You can do anything with it that you want that's metal. So it's really just kind of like a meh kind of uh, substance. And because it's so heavy and soft, there's not too much that you can really do with it. So this one's going to get, I'm going to make the call. Let's see. I'm going to put this in D tier. All right, moving right along. Nickel, this is one that's kind of rare, and it's mostly only used for alloys. It's another one that's kind of like tin or aluminum, where it's not so heavy. So you can use it for a lot of things, like barrels and stuff. It's a good option. Uh, I'm not even going to say too much about it. It's pretty, it's pretty rare. It doesn't come up, and when it does, it just kind of mixes in with the copper and the tin and stuff. You can use it for alloys, which we'll talk about, um, that can be useful, mostly for uh, you know creating luxury furniture and items and things that you can sell. So I'm going to put that in... That's the solid C tier. I'm not sure why the squares started becoming different shapes, but this is actually my first tier list ever, so thanks for bearing with me. The next one on the list is platinum, is that it is extremely heavy. It is almost as heavy as lead. So all the things that we said were good about lead are basically as good for platinum, plus it's actually valuable, you know, like, plus it actually, you know, gives dwarves happy thoughts. We haven't talked about that yet. Ah, uh, shininess and, like, how, how pleasant it is to look at. Um, increases the odds that dwarves will be happy around it. We'll be like, I love, you know, working with this stuff. I love silver, it's so pretty. Um, and so platinum's good for that. Nickel is good for, I think nickel goes into sterling silver. We're going to find out when we get there. But so platinum is going to get... I'm going to put that, we don't even have an A tier one yet. I'm going to say platinum A tier because it's, it is more useful than gold because it's not that soft. So you can, um, now I'm looking up, can you make... Platinum armor, it says, ba, ba, ba. I believe you can. I, I think you can use it for everything. Correct me if that's wrong, but I think you can use it for everything. The comments are going to be wild on this one. Everybody arguing with my uh, rankings and probably correcting me on a bunch of stuff. So the next one is silver, which we know about. We've even talked about as well already a little bit uh, and how you might prefer it to gold, even though it's less valuable. So you can use it for nice things, fancy things, goblets. You can... Um, use it for weapons, you can make bolts and things. Um, oh, it also, in this game, uh, kills werewolves. I'm not sure if it has that same effect on vampires in this game, but you can definitely use it. Um, I believe that is coded in. So it does have some extra lethality. It's beautiful, it's good. It's, you know, a little heavy, but it's still kind of medium. It's not even that much worse than copper. So you know what, silver's gonna get... Uh, I'm gonna put it up here. So what do we got for copper, iron, and silver? I'm gonna put, nah! Silver is not as good as copper and iron. When I said that out loud, I felt silly. So that's actually going to go in the A tier. There are a lot of shades of, of gray in this. Uh, next pure metal, and we're almost done, is tin. We're almost done with the pure metals, and then we're going to talk about all the alloys. Uh, but so tin is fairly common. It comes from uh, cassiterite. Very light, very useful, like aluminum. Honestly, not too much to say about it. It's virtually 
identical to aluminum, at least in my opinion. So, and I believe that we put that one in C, right? And then of course we have zinc. It's the last of the totally pure metals. And so zinc is basically like tin, nickel, aluminum. Uh, lightweight, useful for some things, especially like storage stuff. We're gonna just go ahead and put it with its, with its brothers right oop, here. All right, now here's where it gets interesting and it might be a little more controversial because we are gonna talk about alloys which are very preferential. It's really a matter of taste. So first, alphabetically, is billin, which is a combination of silver and copper. So that sounds pretty nice, right? Uh, has all the benefits of two, two very high-ranking metals. I don't, I don't ever make this stuff myself personally, but if you wanted to, it would be... It's certainly not because copper and iron have so many, like, unique properties. I wouldn't say that it's better than that. So I'm going to put Billin. Billin goes right there. Next one is Bismuth Bronze. I've actually been call, calling this uh, Bismuthanite. That's actually the name of the ore. I apologize. That was probably driving somebody crazy. So it's just Bismuth. Bismuth is the pure metal, of course, and bismuthonite is uh, the ore that it comes from. I apologize for that. I am going to just cross out. There we go. Very good. This is going to be the messiest rank chart you've ever seen. Okay. Bismuth bronze is functionally identical to standard bronze, but it does look a little nicer. So we are going to put it up here with like up here with like lead. Ooh. We are going to put it right down here in the D tier with lead. Or, you know, bronze is actually pretty useful, good value, and can make weapons. So I'm going to say, I'm going to put it in C tier in anticipation of uh, wanting to put bronze in C tier. Or maybe even B tier. I mean, because bronze is pretty good. It's pretty cool. I'm going to put it, I'm going to put bismuth bronze, just to clarify in B tier in anticipation of saying that actual bronze is also B tier. Uh, brass, oh, I haven't been giving the recipes, I apologize. So billin is uh, silver and copper, bismuth bronze is one tin, two copper, one bismuth. Uh, black bronze is our next one, and it is two copper, one silver, one gold. Uh, again, just kind of a unique color of bronze, so that's gonna go in the B tier also. And brass, now we're on brass, which is zinc and copper, of course. I am actually not sure. I think brass and bronze, I get those two confused, so I want to look this up and make sure. Uh, so the wiki is saying brass can be used to make furniture and other objects at a metalsmith's forge. Uh, so it's a very profitable alloy to produce. Brass, this we're talking about, a value increase of 250% from zinc and copper. It is not magma safe, so yeah. So bronze, we're talking for like weapons and stuff. Brass is more for, like, really nice, impressing nobles, impressing visitors, and selling for high, high value. So, but that is going to go alongside gold. It's mostly just to show how wealthy you are. Uh, but that's, that's nice. That's useful. And now we get to bronze proper, which, as I promised thoroughly, is now going to go in the B tier. And so that now brings us to Electrum, which is a really interesting one. So th this is silver and gold mixed together, and I'm not really sure why you would want to do that. Uh, I mean, apparently it increases the value a little bit. Oh no, it says smelting bars together consumes 30 material and a value 10 material to produce two units of value 20, thus producing no net gain or loss. I don't know why you would build this except for a nice color maybe to improve a dwarf's mood if, you know, if... They specifically just love how Electrum works. So yeah, that'll go right in B tier as well. A lot of these alloys are, you know, they're cool. They're very nice metals, but you know, they're not, they're not critical either. And now we get into something that's interesting or boring, depending on how you feel. But uh, now we're going to get into the pewters. And there are three types of pewter. And we're doing this in alphabetical order. So we're going to do two now and then one right at the end. So... We're going to talk, after Electrum, we're going to talk fine pewter, which is three tin, mostly tin, and a little bit of copper. And this is mostly a decorative, you know, you make mugs and tables and things out of it. It's, most of these, a lot of these alloys are more decorative than their function. So, 
It is a refined tin product with copper in it. So I'm going to put it... Sorry, I'm also going to put it here. <laughs> it's also going to go in the B tier. Uh, let's see. And then after fine pewter, the second kind of three is lay pewter, which is two tin, one copper, and one lead. You're basically just watering down. You're trying to get rid of lead uh, in the pewter. So because B is getting so crowded and this is the worst kind of pewter that's specifically watered down with something in D tier, we are going to go ahead and put that in C tier. And then after that, we have nickel silver, which is two nickel, one copper, one zinc, which is actually really interesting. I always assumed that it had actual silver mixed into it uh, until I just read that. And so this is a silver replacement in a lot of ways. Uh, it often has like a, uh, a finish, a luster that'll make dwarves happy, uh, but it is mostly decorative. So we can put that in B as well. That's going to go in B. That's nickel silver. Oop. Now this one's going to be controversial because uh, this next one is pig iron. And so for those who might not be aware, iron can be worked with flux stone and fuel to form pig iron. And it is basically inferior in every way to iron, except in that it is now primed. And if you treat the pig iron again, you can make steel. If you treat the uh, pig iron with more flux stone and more fuel, I believe, I think it's flux stone at both stages. Um, you make steel, which as we mentioned is absolutely gonna be marked as an S tier. So because pig iron is the only gateway to steel, but it is specifically on purpose, much worse than iron in every way, kind of a mostly useless metal, except in the production of steel, this is gonna be a tough one. So I guess I'm gonna put it I feel like lead is lonely down here in D tier because as a metal on its own merits, pig iron is kind of useless, kind of not good for anything. And the only reason I'm not using it to fill the uh, F tier is because it is the gateway to steel, which is going to get S tier. So fight me in the comments on that one. Sorry. Uh, after pig iron is rose gold, which is just a decorative. It's th uh, three gold with one copper mixed in. It's just a decorative version of gold. And it does waste copper, which can be used for other things, but copper is, so, copper is so common and humble, it doesn't even care. So, like, uh, we'll put this in... It's treated gold. I'll put it in A tier. Why not? And as promised, here is steel. Steel is incredible. It's amazing. It is the best thing that you can build weapons out of. It is the best thing that you can build combat items out of, armor. Uh, anything like that. It is the best. Traps, anything like that. You want steel. That's what makes pig iron worth it. Uh, as well as digging into your iron supply. It basically just improves it. As long as you have the flux stone and you uh, have enough fuel. So that's an absolute positive uh, S tier rank for steel. Absolutely. So after that we have sterling silver. Blah, 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 blah. We have sterling silver which is three silver with one copper. That might have been what I was thinking of when I said that I thought nickel silver had silver in it. Uh, so sterling silver is another one where it just has, it has sheen, it has uh, attractiveness, dwarves will like it, it has value. So uh, let's see. And it is made of silver and copper, so I guess that's a solid, that's a solid A tier as well. And then the last one is trifle pewter, which is two tin and one copper. How is that different than fine pewter? Oh, fine pewter has more tin, basically, in it, proportionally. So just, but not as much lead. So where did I put the other pewters? So this one can go B or C, and because it's a lesser one, I'm just going to go ahead and pop it into C. And that is everything, my friends. That is every single one. All right, so let's just run them down to summarize. In S tier, I have placed, in my opinion, the best metals in the game, S tier, are copper, iron, and steel. A tier are silver, platinum, Billin, Rose Gold, and Sterling Silver. In B tier, that's actually the most popular tier in this ranking, uh, is Gold, Bismuth Bronze, Black Bronze, Brass, Bronze, Electrum, Fine Pewter, Nickel, Silver. And in C tier, we have Aluminum, Nickel, Tin, Zinc, and Lay Pewter. In D tier, we only have Lead and Pig Iron. And in E tier, we have Bismuth. There's nothing in F tier, there's no such thing as a useless metal in Dwarf Fortress, of course. They are far too industrious for that. Uh, that's all I have for you today. 
If you made it this far, don't forget to like and subscribe. We are still kind of trying to grow this channel. I, you know, I love my 500 subscribers, but like, you know, what would be even cooler would be more than that. So, okay, thank you for joining me. I'll catch, catch everybody soon. Leave it in the comments if you're mad at me because you totally disagree with everything I just said. All right, goodbye.